Right, several families in Green Valley Ranch are cleaning up after a man tried to force his way inside their homes. It turns out that suspect picked the wrong place to start his rampage. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt is live in that neighborhood tonight. And Karen, police say the suspect didn't get far. Yeah, thanks to one of those homeowners who actually turned out to be an off duty sheriff's deputy as well. Neighbors say they were lucky that he was in the area at the time this all started, or who knows how things may have ended. Early Sunday morning, a man was spotted jumping over fences and running through yards in this Green Valley Ranch neighborhood. He jumped over my fence. Then all you heard was a bunch of glass and wood and everything bring in. Eventually, that man picked this home to try and break into. The family watched as he picked up a brick and started banging on their front window until it shattered. What that suspect didn't know was an off-duty Denver Sheriff's deputy was inside. That Denver Sheriff's deputy gets his sidearm and goes out to try to confront this male. From there, the suspect busted through a neighbor's fence, then broke out a window at this home and made his way inside. Denise Jones lives directly next door. Right next door, and I thought it was right out here because it sounded like they were beating on my door, and it's like, oh, my God. Inside her neighbor's home were three teenage boys. The deputy, who was not far behind, was able to hold the suspect inside that home at gunpoint until police arrived. Crazy situation, but what a great neighbor. <laughs> you can't say enough about this Denver Sheriff's deputy and what he did. Uh, for sure he saved the day and probably those kids. Jones couldn't agree more. And he protected the whole neighborhood. And I'm glad we have him. Now that suspect did suffer some pretty serious injuries from when he broke through that window. The glass cut his arms up pretty bad. He was taken to the hospital before being booked into the jail. Now police are not sure who this guy is. Apparently he refused to give Denver police a name when he was arrested. They're now working to identify who he is and they expect to have more information on that tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Green Valley Ranch, Karen Morfitt, CBS 4 News. What a story. Thank you, Karen.